please remain standing for the presentation of the colors of the Pledge of Allegiance. You may be seated. Families, friends, faculty. It seems only fitting that this graduation ceremony be held in the afternoon as the sun begins to set, because the sun will also set on our high school experience in these next few moments. The memories of high school that burn brightest will sink beneath the horizon and will forever remain in our hearts. All the times we have shared together will, fit, will fade slowly like the vanishing rays of the sun, but those rays will soon reemerge. The dawn of tomorrow signals the rest of our lives, and while our high, our high school days may have eclipsed, we must keep in mind that life is about change. Like the sun that rises and falls every day, our lives are also part of a universal cycle through which all things grow and change. As the sun falls this evening, I encourage you to sail beyond the sunset to your destiny. Thank you. Argue with. 
Sam will be attending Princeton next year and is planning on majoring in mathematics. With a startling grade point average of 4.36, I'm honored to present to you the valedictorian of the class of 2005, Sam Fisher. Congratulations to my fellow classmates who have achieved graduation. Congratulations to our teachers who have pushed us to this point. And last but definitely not least, Congratulations to our parents, who must feel a relief and surprise that we have made it this far. And think about how far we have come. Let me remind and I entered kindergarten. Bush was president, a US-led coalition had recently invaded Iraq, and the economy was in a recession. But now, 13 years later, just think of how much has changed. together today and we appreciate all that you have done. Today I have the pleasure of presenting this fine class to the DeKalb County Board of Education. But first, parents, I would like to have some bragging rights before I ask that board member to come forward. Since you've already heard the GPA of the valedictorian and the salutatorian, I won't have to mention that again, but I would like to tell you there are not many high schools that have students with GPAs close to 4.4 at all. So hats off to our children. Now if that's not enough, I'd like to tell you about the amount of money that this class has secured in scholarships. Parents, they were offered $4.4 million in scholarships. At this time, I am pleased to announce that 60% of this class has chosen to take advantage of 
million dollars of that scholarship money to continue their education. We're still waiting for several members of the class to tell us where they're going. They still have offers on the table. We are extremely proud of this graduating class. Without further ado, I would like to bring before us tonight our board representative for our area. His name is Mr. Chip Franzoni. He is a very special guest because parents, he too sat here one day in the early 70s and graduated from Dunwoody High School. So it is always an honor to have him come and release our children's diploma. Mr. Franzoni, if you'll come forward. Thank you all. Stephanie, thank you. Students, thank you. Sam, I listened to your speech. I have to say I was a little freaked out that, you know, it's like the teachers you know, tell you to go out in the world and do things. And here I am, 28 years later, back in the gymnasium. <laughs> I guess what goes around comes around. And then I look over at Coach Fortenberry, who was just a, a few years after me, Dunwoody High graduate. You know, recently selected by the DeKalb County School System among 7,000 teachers in our system to be Teacher of the Year. And here, here he is. It just, it just, you just can't seem to get away from here, you know? And certification. I accept the academic summary of this for the public schools of Georgia and the requirements established by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools and of the DeKalb County Board of Education. As a representative of the DeKalb County Board of Education, I authorize the presentation of the diplomas to this class. To all of our distinguished guests, you want to take pictures, you may not block the handicap area over here. That's first. Secondly, we would like to ask that if you are taking a picture, you do not cross the white lines there that have already been established. There is a professional photographer here that will capture that very special moment for you. He will capture that moment this particular proof will be mailed to your home, and you have the opportunity of purchasing that particular proof. It is not a money maker for the school. It's a, cap it's a capture of that special moment for your child. So please, allow them to do the very best job for you. Parents, if you would, look at your program at the bottom, second page. This is a dear message from the class of 2005. The 2005 would like to ask that our family, friends, and guests Please respect us. This is a day of excitement, anticipation, and celebration. This ceremony is intended to acknowledge this important milestone in our lives. It is our wish that this ceremony continue in a dignified manner so that all will be heard and seen today. Thank you very much. Mrs. Harder will come forward and we will begin the presentation of the diplomas. I present the class of 2005 to you. Graduating tonight, our first student, Brian Dale Griffin.
we started this journey together, we end this journey together. Would all the seniors please join me in the tassel turning ceremony? Oh. Congratulations, class of 2005. I'm so mayo. Basona mayo, Segu mayo.
Thank you very much, Michael Sherry. We appreciate that a lot. And next on the program is a remark by guest, Brother Asumana Pupana, one of the well-known men in our community. And Mr. Pupana, you are welcome on the station. Because one of our sisters okay. is graduating. And sister, what I have to tell you, okay. this shouldn't be your end. Okay. You should persuade the associate degree, BLC, okay. up to master. Oh, wow. I will be your sunset. Okay. There will be no man that will tell you any nonsense. So you should keep it up. If you learn more, you don't do nothing. The prophet said we should achieve education as far as China. And everybody know where China is located. It's not a small distance. So we came here today to celebrate this day with you. And we hope they will give you more motivation to pursue higher education. So I will not hold the public tonight because no people get things to do tomorrow. Because when I start talking right now, it will not end. So, Sister Dupley, the higher one, please. Congratulations, congratulations. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. You know, at the end of every sunset, you, you expect to give the person some sort of surprise, which is almost like a commemoration, but like, there's no way you can commemorate somebody that gone through third year of education and completing our high school. Waking up late in the morning and staying awake two other nights to study the mathematics, the English, and so on. So it's a tough thing to pay the person. We cannot pay you, but at least we can show you some idea of consideration for your great effort and which would, which would appear like a encouragement for you to take the next step. However, the next stage is nothing else but other than presentation or gift to the wonderful graduate. Uh, however, this is uh, the first gift being presented to you by Honorable Sherry, and here is your gift. Uh, next 
Amsterdam, I'm having a secret bag. I don't know what is in this bag, but it looks so heavy. Although it looks smaller in the eyes, but like, because there's some powerful thing in there. And this is presented to you on behalf of the Keita family. So I appreciate your effort and tell you you should keep it on. Sisters, for the boys, 
As you all know, for every year, the University of Liberia or the Zion Community College or other university will be in Liberia, you produce not less than 10 percent of the graduate from our ethnic group, which have in the video Madingo ethnic group. We have said our history, and not only just graduating, but graduate with honor. Okay, you graduate with honor, and people become proud of you. When they call it in, they say, "Oh, Allah Haji Mamadi Kroma." You graduate with some crumb lali. People say, "What is Mamadi?" Yes, this is Mamadi because he wore it, and it's the same that's what right now. When we were sitting in the hall yesterday, I said to my brother, so I said, when they call you, I'm not hearing our people in the court. Oh, no, don't worry. Then I heard, yeah, your mama did tour it. And I was proud, and I, I clapped for her. Because what? Very, very proud of her for that. Madam, tour it. Do everything you can to go forward, OK? Don't let people discourage you. There's going to be a lot of temptation that's going to come across you. Just keep going. And don't feel when you're educated, you should be proud about your parents. No, that's not the essence of education. That's the reason why most of our people did not educate that daughter who can make those No, it's not going to be like that anymore. We want more educated people, people who want to respect their parents, people who want to respect their husband, people who want to respect their wife. Not because you educated, you say, oh, man, she doesn't know anything. No, you must give her her respect. Give him his respect. Respect your parents as your parents who suffer to give you what you have achieved. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor again to say to all of you, Come and have a good day. Uh, thank you, Brother Lester Nizara, for that wonderful speech. And we actually appreciate your speech. And next to that, on the program, there's uh, something that everybody has felt. And because we need to hear from this wonderful lady how she made her journey and who was the cause of her journey and what was the, what was the idea that she used to keep on until she graduated. So, uh, Miss E, and the stage is all yours now. So let's give her a big hand clap for this wonderful day. Distinguished British family members and friends, good evening. I would like to extend my thanks and appreciation to my father and mother and all my family members for showing me the light of the education, which is, which is good for everybody to be here to be. Moreover, not to mention their careless effort, they get me in everything that I expect to be in this world. By showing me the right from wrong, I deeply consider all their efforts. Mother, you are the best mother of the world. I love you so much. Moreover, I would like to thank and really appreciate everybody that left their job to attend this program tonight. May Allah bless our life. Thank you for that speech. For me personally, I actually enjoy that speech. And I hope to follow your full set if I get it. <laughs> That's about the program. Uh, some people just come in and we want to give them like a, and from there we'll proceed. So ladies and gentlemen. And next to that, somebody gave me a secret paper. So this is yours. And uh, it's the Benedict family anyway. Let me just generalize it that way. Having to be my own sister, Fanta Sherry, uh, we want to ask her to come forward to give some sort of encouragement to the graduate. So, uh, Ms. Fanta Sherry, you are welcome on the stage to come and uh, give a word of encouragement to the graduate. Uh, however, 
Ms. Prophet Sherry said uh, she will be very much happy to speak in our language, which is the Manigo language. So she's asking everybody to excuse her because she said what she wants to say. She might not be able to say it to us to the fashion in English. So she wants to she wants for me to serve as a translator. Trans she wants for me to read this uh, certificate that she just received and from there she's going to talk to us. And the certificate here Barry said uh, celebrating your service. Certification of recognition presented to Fonda Sali in recognition of 10 years of dedicated service to their children healthcare of Atlanta 2005. <laughs> that, that's good to say that she received this certificate because the services that she has rendered to this wonderful hospital, they actually appreciated her. She's one of the greatest employees at that hospital right now. Thank you for your work. For your work. I want to take 15 minutes. I know where. And the commandment for the What is the certificate? This certificate so together is still I never said I had been for my whole life. I never go to school. I can remember everyone who was going to school in Ghana, America, who can start to ban when they come from school, they will go home together. And when our parents they see those children coming from school, who will get to the fact that they call the idea they want to talk to the other children that want to school. But you can make it. Because one day I walked to my grandfather and said, why you send me to school and I don't know. He said, you already been to school. And what all he tell me that what I did to the hospital. Children hospital, everybody can call them. I went straight with the data. One of the data I couldn't even know, he always called me say, he always called me say, uh, I'm on next day. I know nothing. But you got to be humble. I've been to Georgia 15 years. I was the first man to go to Kanye. Right here to Holiday in Oakland, I went there for nine years. This is my second job. I never be fired from no job. You got to be humble. You can make it if you want to. So why I tell you they get, you get a long way to go. When you got to go to school, and you got to be humble to get this. This certificate is hard to get. Because you don't know that, and you want to be there all of you that go to school. One day I told the doctor, one of the surgeon doctors, I said, I eat that, and I said, I can't see. And he tell me, he said, you bring to the doctor, I said, no. He said, but why you can't go get glasses? I said, you can't wear glasses, I will ask you to find your jacket. Because uh, if you go to school, Nazi people will respect you. You got to try and go to school and respect mom and daddy like the way they were sitting. And then you can know they were. You know, tell me, you can be somebody if you want to. And it's hard. Because we want to go to the point where you can go. But you let me know that you want to go. It's a you got to be humble. My old brother, man, you got to be humble. You me, I said, it's a anarchy. You can call there tomorrow. 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 That goes on in life. At least there should be some sort of uh, appreciation. The family of the uh, of the job, of the graduate found it necessary to come on the floor and tell us one or two words that they think of the general public. How about that? Uh, standing before you here today, those of you who don't know me, me is Laito, President, I'm the speaker on behalf of the family of the Bible. We give it a tremendous pleasure and a great opportunity to stand here tonight to extend our endless thanks and appreciation to all those who devoted their time tonight to come and make this program possible. 
most especially those that travel thousands of miles to come here tonight to make this our program one of the ones tonight. One thing I would like to tell us tonight, you know, I want us to look at unity, peace, and diversity to be our motto. And next to us should be love and discipline among ourselves and our society. Let us do away now hypocrites and merciless among others. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are very happy. On behalf of the family, we are very happy. We are out of war right now, you know. It's like that when you tell somebody that we are happy to come out and blow your fire, believe me, they're going to cut that fire out when you speak because it's all I'm happy. So right now we are happy, we're out of war, we just have to tell you guys thank you very much for coming and we remember everybody ever. Thank you very much, God bless you. And once again, that was the president of the Madiba Association. He is the head of our organization in Atlanta, Georgia. He is called Lai Ture. And next on the program is a closing is both of thank and closing prayer, which is by Musa Fofana and Mr. Musa Fofana. <laughs> they gave her through her hard journey through high school. Having thanked the parents of Gay to our Duke, we would like to, and everybody that's here tonight, we would like to take this opportunity to thank the group that came from all the way to Philadelphia. It's of interest. It's nothing but to show support. Because education in our society is something that is very, very much uh, important. Such a support can give encouragement to others that will follow. Those miles to come down here to share with us this joyous occasion. Having taken that group, we will take our friends, the Indian community, who took it upon themselves to be here with us tonight. They are people who support education. They are educated people, that's why they are here tonight. We want to thank you very much for being with us, and we hope we can see your faces in days of such to come. Having said that, you know, we can't go without reaching to Madame, Madame Duclay herself. We want to thank you very much for the effort the sleepless nights, all of the struggles you went through to complete your high school. As everybody said, we thank you today, but this should not be the end of thanking you. We want, to, we want to meet again and thank you for graduating from our college, getting your master's. And having said that, we want to thank the Armour to Allah, and we pray that the education that this family because education is not just reading or flipping through the pages of books, but it's what benefits the legal community need more and more educated ladies like Madame uh, Duplin. We want to pray to Almighty Allah to give the courage and the strength to other young ladies coming out so that they can be where Madame Duplin is tonight. We pray that the Almighty Allah made this our gathering a very, very blessed one and give us the courage to meet on such occasions every year. I thank you all. Thank you for that wonderful speech of encouragement. And next to that is, uh, I want to make a quick announcement. Uh, we're having a great program next week. We happen to be one of our unique leaders of the Madiba Association. The man that is behind the uh, connection, resolving problems, unification. I mean, the adjective is so much that I cannot put everything up because he deserves such a credit. He unifies us when we are divided. He brings us together if we are away. And if we are crying, 
you go there and sit back down with you and make you understand. We says Brother Musa Connor. Next week, on the 28th, happened to be Saturday, will be his marriage ceremony. And hopefully, we ask everybody, whether you know this man or not, to go to this program. Because this man deserves to be made proud. Because this man will make everybody proud and sympathize with everybody when you are in problem. He, he go around you when you need people around you. And he is the man that actually is time for him, for us to make him happy. And that's the day of May. And please, I can't ask everybody whether you have invitation or not to go to this program. And the next announcement is by one of our senior soccer players. This guy has an international talent. And also he takes out everybody. He has everybody that comes around him. And his name is Solomon Dollar, people swear. Uh, this coming Sunday now, which is May Sunday now on Sunday, will be his wife program and which will be like a baby shower. So we kind of ask everybody to please go to this program and take part and make him cry again. Right? And right now we kind of ask everybody to give us attention. We are going to call a list of certain people to come on the stage and try to open the floor. And first of all, uh, we, we think the graduate deserve the, the from Philadelphia and E.A. Dukwe. So please come on the stage. Thank you. And next to that is uh, my own president, the president of the Madigo Association, right. Honorable Alahaji right. Lai Toure. Please come on the stage along with, until you already know yourself, Mama Toure. Please follow. Uh, next to that is a uh, one of our unique leaders, the person that we think he will mobilize people in a second. And he is the bring behind the Madigo Association too. Happen to be Musa Keita. Uh, Musa Keita, please come on the stage. And I think the person already know herself again. Uh, Fatumata, I can see you. I think you need to come forward to John Honorable Keita. Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, I will kind of ask the invited guests to come right here. I think there's the dance floor. So, like, they can be on the perimeter before the whole program resumes. And next to that is one of our unique leaders, our man that will go beyond the boundary of any situation to explore what he wanted. Uh, I hold him a lot of credit and I hold him a lot of respect. And this is nobody other than Alahaji Berete. Alahaji Berete, Alahaji Berete, please come on the stage. And we should be followed by, like, the person already smiling, I already see the smile. Mata Jara, please come on the stage to join your husband. You know, in every organization, there is a spiritual leader. And our spiritual leader take real great consideration. Uh, he go around the people, tell them the words of God, make them understand, and keep them on the track. And guide them against evil and bring them closer to God. And this person is nobody other than Brother Joseph Kennedy. Brother Joseph Kennedy, ah, this is your time. And Brother Joseph Kennedy will be on the stage with one of the greatest ladies that everybody really respect in this organization, which is Mr. Kennedy. <laughs> Next on the stage, you know, I mean, this person is so silent because uh, he's so happy he cannot express to us how many, the, I mean, the, the level of uh, appreciation to this wonderful graduate. 
and he is actually representing the father of the graduate. Sitting down in the corner observing the entire program, he traveled as far as New York. He took like four days off. He came since Friday just for him to be part of this program. And he has actually taken part in this program orally for be my own uncle, Honorable Mamadi Dukle, commonly known as Bob Ray. Please get a partner right now, right? Yeah. And we don't expect this great man, which is like almost seven feet tall, to come on the stage with one other partner. It will be wrong. Yeah. So, therefore, we call on Kadi to please come forward. Please come forward to take care of our uncle. Next on the stage is somebody that if you want to stay in Liberia, if you stay in Liberia, you get to know this gentleman. He worked as a, he worked for the Liberian government as 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 one of the key analysts of the Liberian government budget bureau. And this and this gentleman is just a important figure in the Liberian community in that uh, we give him a lot of respect because the country power, it tells us that can improve our future and there is no age different. With his age, he still come around even his brother that are one years old to, to, to give them some sort of advice and so on. So uh, this person happened to be brought to Selin Dollar, Lonjo, please come on the stage. And next to that, uh, Sister Mayankone, one of the great ladies in our community, will be with this wonderful guest to take care of him. All you need to have more, the Madigo people in Atlanta, than anywhere in the ah, United States. Okay. And this person is nobody other than Mr. Lot. Ture. So Mr. Ture, please come on the stage. Okay. Uh, Mr. Ture and Ms. Ture. Okay. Uh, Mr. Mani. Please accompany your husband. Don't let your husband walk alone. <laughs> I mean, I would say a unique leader because this gentleman, uh, you know, look forward to the man behind the music to kind of pop up the things and keep us moving right now. So the floor will be open and it is yours to open the floor for us tonight. <laughs>
fighting and also the, the, like the pool behind here. So the pool is open and everybody the floor is open and the pool is also open. Thank you. 